Alan O, our Chief Commercial Officer with KBAN Robotics. Welcome to Sydney. You're from Singapore and we've had KBAN uh, on before and we're at the ICC here in Sydney for the Security Exhibition and Conference. Uh, day three, how have you found the show? Uh, um, it's great. Uh, I think we do have some interested party yes. and uh, they are willing to sign up uh, and deploy in their site. Yep. Yeah. I suppose the, maybe the first thing is what have you got on display? This is your third year, I think, uh, yes. being at the show. So the market should be getting familiar with you now. Uh, should be. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Yeah. Well, the Singapore market definitely is. I, I, you know, you walk around Singapore now and you see your KBAN Robotics uh, on uh, on patrol, uh, particularly around parking lots and the like. Uh, but yeah, maybe the, the two units you've got on display here. Okay, so basically we do have uh, our collab indoor uh, autonomous security robot and also Halo, which is our outdoor autonomous security robots. Yep. But of course for our robots, uh, it's not only on security functions, but we do have uh, concierge function as well as uh, security inspections, which is niche in the market. Yep. Yeah. And I suppose, what's uh, some of the interest do you find that the, the Australian market might have that might be different to Singapore? Do you find some of the questions slightly different? Uh, I think in Australian market, um, to adopt ro uh, robots will probably be the first thing. It might take them uh, some time to adopt robot first, but I, I do heard from uh, some customer is they are already looking into the whole ecosystem, yep. how security technology, robots and also manpower, including IoT sensors, can work together in order to provide the uh, holistic solution to their customers. Well, we're definitely seeing robotics in, uh, in retail, in terms of uh, hospitality and hospitals and the like. From a security aspect, still still a couple of years away, I think here in Australia, but it'll come very quickly. Um, yes. Is there any be. any change needed to the modules that you've got uh, for the Australian market, power systems or anything like that, or are they ready to go? Um, definitely, it's ready to go, but yep. maybe some minor changes are uh, need to uh, be done in order to cater to Australia market. Yeah. Um, I think. Um, is is almost ready, almost yeah. ready to go. Yeah. And I suppose a call to action. What are you looking for? A large national client, or are you happy to, to talk to sort of smaller operators, uh, individual property owners? Uh, for us, right, uh, it doesn't mean that you need to be a large organization as long as it can cater to your needs and uh, there's requirement for security robots uh, we are willing to you know for for australian market to actually try it yep. so currently we are uh, giving some um, promotions i can say promotions it's like for a year trial they just need to pay for six months yeah uh, for them to actually try on it yep. because if you don't try on the robot you will never know yeah but after you try you will know that it is uh, very useful and you are able to uh, increase the efficiency and also uh, cover some of the shortfalls if uh, you you require right. and also uh, increase the security level wonderful yep. look um we won't go too much into the business side. We did have KBAN Robux on a webinar recently, and I'll have the link in the show notes for this interview as well, going into sort of the, the business case and the economics around having robots. But it's great to see KBAN Robotics here again in Sydney. Uh, and I'll, I'll be, I'm in, uh, in Singapore in September, so I'll, I'll try and stop by the office or I'll say good day to a unit when I see it, the Halo in particular sure. uh, on patrol. But thank you very much for joining us thank on you My very Security much. TV. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah.